All right, today I'm going to show you how to auto sync your video to music to the beat of a song within Premiere Pro. So I've got this song here that I just pulled off of Google's free music library, and I'm going to play it for just a second, and you'll see we've got the beat. 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 And so I want my clips to go where those beats are. So how you do that is you're going to place markers within each of those beat points. So I'll show you what I mean here. I'm going to move my playhead right here, and I'm going to hit the M on the keyboard. But there's two places you can place markers. So this first one, notice what's going to happen. I hit M, and it does the little marker down here on the audio clip. You don't want that. So what you want to do is if you do have the clip selected, just click off of it, and then when you hit M, the marker will be up here. So that's where you want this marker to be. And then just play through the song and hit M everywhere you want one of those cuts or where the beat is. And you don't necessarily have to put it at each beat. If you want to skip one, you can. So let's skip the next one. Skipped. So I'm not going to do the whole song. This is just a demo. All right, so now I've placed my markers where I want, but don't forget to put one at the beginning because you don't want a dark gap here because it's going to place the clips at that first marker. So put one at the beginning of the song. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my folder where I've got my video clips. So let's just jump into that. Now you see clip number one here is uh, just some ducks on the water. On my keyboard, I'm going to hit I. That's going to be my end point where I want to start. And then I'm going to hit O for an out point. Now you want to make sure that when you're doing this, so let's go to my next one here, and just hit I here, and hit, and hit out. And what's going to happen is when it places this one into the timeline, there might be a gap between this video and the next one because I didn't give it enough time. So we'll see what that does here when we actually place them. So I'm going to go through each of these and just uh, do this real quick. Just for the purpose of the demo. All right. Now, what you can do here, if you want is you can arrange these into the order that you want them to go onto the timeline. And you'll see what I mean here when we get to the next screen of order placement. If you want to change the order, notice when I'm in the list view, I can't drag and drop them to move them around. What you need to do is go to the icon view, and then from within the icon view, you can actually move them and change the order of the videos. So notice there I moved that one later on. Actually, let's move it third. There we go. All right. You want to make sure to select all of them. And I just did a shift click with my mouse and keyboard. You want to go to clip, go to automate sequence. Now, this is what I was talking about with ordering. If I go selection order, what it's going to do is it's going to place these on the timeline randomly. If I go sort order, it's going to place them in this order. So 0035 will be the first one, 0036 will be the last one. So for mine, I'm just going to go random because uh, this is just a demo and I didn't really place those in any kind of order. Placement, you want to put at unnumbered markers, so it knows to place these at those marker points. Method, leave on overwrite edits. And the last thing you want to check is this down here, ignore audio. Make sure that, that is selected. Hit OK, and boom, there we go. It places everything in the timeline. So this is what I was talking about when I selected the clip and didn't have enough time on it. It does an out point wherever I put that out point. So in this case, it's before the beat. So you can, if you want, just drag and drop it. But make sure to keep that in mind when you are selecting your in and out points that you do need to make sure that you give yourself enough. And also, I didn't have enough video clips for everything. So you can actually see here at the end, there's actually more space. So I'm just going to do that really quick for the purpose of this video. Now, when I hit play, so notice it's cutting clips when you close the beats. And that's pretty much the to it. Um, that's
that's how it works. You can play around with it a little bit. Hope that was helpful. Have a good day.